Hey everyone, so with it being June and Pride Month, I wanted to create a beautiful rainbow floral piece. So let's jump right in. Okay, so to start, I'm just gonna go through my materials today. I have my Arches Cold Press Watercolor Paper, my Windsor Newton Professional Watercolors in my palette. I'm also gonna be using this masking fluid by Windsor & Newton. You don't need it, but it may be easier to do the outline of the heart and have a nice crisp line if you have this. Um, but if you don't, you can just draw a heart and just try your best not to go around it or inside the heart. Anyway, so yeah, I have this and I also have a crappy dollar store brush so I don't ruin one of my good brushes. And then for the painting, I have my Princeton snap brushes in a size six and a size 12, as well as my pencil and an eraser and water, paper towel, or we're ready to go. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is draw a heart very lightly um, with your pencil. Okay, so once you're done your heart, um, you're gonna grab your masking fluid. If you don't use masking fluid, just make sure you erase your pencil line so they're nice and light. So when you paint, if you paint over the pencil line, um, you won't be able to erase it underneath. So just make sure it's nice and light. Okay, and then once you got your masking fluid open, you're just gonna dip your brush in and you're just gonna paint over that line because you're gonna erase it underneath once you pull up the masking fluid. And with masking fluid, you want not a, too, a thick layer of it, but not too thin because if it's too thin, it won't come up easily. So a decent amount, not where it's like gonna take forever to dry, but um, a nice layer and just try and make it as straight as you can. So when you pull it up, it's a nice crisp line. Okay, so just again, take another look, make sure it's kind of even, there's, you know, it's not looking too thin in some places because it will be harder to pull up if it is thinner um, and just that you have the nice crisp line that you like. So make sure you wait until it is completely dry before we start painting. Okay, now that it's dry, we can start painting. Um, it should feel kind of like rubbery to the touch. Um, but if any of it comes up on your fingers, you know that it is not ready and not dry. Okay, so we are doing some fun, um, loose rainbow florals. So I think I'm going to start with yellows. I'm just going to grab some of my cadmium yellow today. And maybe we'll just start with some like little baby like sunflowers. And we're doing it very loose. So just a light wash. You're just going to go around. That's not very good. In a circle, <laughs> a bit better than mine, hopefully. Maybe that's a top-down view and we'll do like a little side view for these ones, okay? It's very loose. I'm gonna grab a bit of yellow ochre maybe. Just tap the center like that. Maybe we'll do another one. I'm gonna grab a bit of this lemon yellow, get a bit brighter. Um, let's do some coming down this way. Like that. Grab some of that yellow ochre again. Tap towards the middle. You can do a little bit of the center too. I might go in there with brown a bit more later. We'll just tap with the yellow ochre to start. I want that yellow a bit brighter. I'm just gonna just throw some color in there like that. Maybe I'll do a little bit of sap green for the stems. Remember, we're keeping this very, very loose. So you can just have some green coming from there, bleeding into it, and some little leaves. Let's have some up here too. Maybe we'll have a bud up there. That. I'm gonna grab some more yellow, do some buds coming from there, like 
that. Cute. Okay. And now let's move on to orange. So I am going to grab some of my cadmium orange. And I think we will do um, maybe some like orange dahlias. So let's do some, again, same kind of thing as this. Around in a circle, really kind of pointed edges and then just keep going out. Do a light wash to start. Leave some white space in there. And we're making this bigger like that. And then I'm going to go back in with a bit of cadmium red, which is more on the orange side anyway. I'm just going to go in the center, maybe little bits here and there like that. Okay. I can blend it out a bit. Maybe we'll do the side view of one over here. We're just making it very, very loose. So don't worry about anything being perfect. The beautiful colors will kind of just make it pop anyway. Okay, just adding some contrast in there with the dark and light. Let's get a little bit of greenery going in there. I always like to add a touch of greenery while it's still wet so we can have... And I don't want to do the big green leaves yet just because I want to wait for the green section of the rainbow. So I'm just doing little fillers here just to break it up just a bit okay now let's move on to red so I'm going to grab my Windsor red here and I think I'm just going to do a rose some of my loose roses so start with your little rounded circular shapes leaving some white space I'm going to wash some of that off and do bigger curve shapes and you can go right over that masking fluid not into the the heart, make sure you don't go in the heart. That's kind of why I made the line a bit bigger of the masking fluid, so I didn't risk doing that. But to get that nice crisp line when you take it off, you can go right over the masking fluid, okay? Like that, let's do another little one over here. Okay, just doing those nice curved shapes. And we're making it light because we're gonna go back in with some darker red. I'm going right into that green too. Okay, let's grab some of our Windsor red. And just tap around the middle and let it bleed like that. You can also do a little bit more here. Okay. Again, let's grab some of that green and just add little bits just to break up the flowers a little. Okay. Like that. And then we're going to move into a pink. So I'm going to take some of my permanent rose and mix it a bit with the red. So it's kind of like a transition color and we'll do kind of like a peony. So let's do a curved shape here and a curved shape over here. We'll do like a little side version of a peony and then some squiggly lines for the inside like that. And then some curves around. We're gonna have like a petal dropping over here. And then we're gonna go back in with that darker color, more pigment, and just darken it up a bit. You can mix a little bit of that red and just do, actually let's do like a little bud over here. Just little buds and we can attach some greenery to them. Try not to put too much on your brush just so it doesn't bleed everywhere. I'm gonna grab a little bit of yellow for the center here. I'm gonna do another peony, maybe more of a bud, like a rounded shape over here like that go into the base grab my green again and I'm gonna do the base of this peony kind of wrapping it around 
some more greenery. This greenery is a bit bigger, but still I don't want it to overpower it. I really want it to be like a pink area. Now my green is kind of bleeding a bit too much into my pink. So I'm just gonna mop it up. Sometimes that happens. And then I'm gonna go back in with my pink and just touch it up a little bit. There we go. Okay, and now I'm gonna mix some purple with my pink. Actually, I have this, um, per what is it? Um, permanent magenta. So it's kind of like a transition color. So let's do, let's do another kind of peony. So we're just gonna keep with the peony theme over here. Okay, we're just doing curves. Try not to think too much about it. So this is like a pink purple transition color, permanent magenta. Do some little squiggly lines over here. And do another little rounded bud. And if you wanna turn your paper, if it's easier, you can definitely do that too. Actually, I might do that after this one. Go back in with a bit more color like so, grab your green. Again, just little, little bits of greenery. Don't overpower it like that. You can do a bit more little buds like that. And I think I'm gonna turn this around now and we're gonna transition that purple into blue. So I have my purple here and I'm gonna grab some turquoise, I think. And we're just gonna darken up that purple so it's a more of a purpley blue. And I think we're gonna do some like delphiniums. So I'm just gonna do some really loose floral shapes. Like more like scribbles, let's be honest here. <laughs> okay. Some darker, some lighter. that and then I'm going to grab my green my sap green again and I'm going to do a little green coming through with some buds at the top like that making it very loose Okay, and I think I'm gonna go back in with some more blue. Bit, add a bit more blue. Like that, just drop it in there. Like so. And if you have to turn it around again, just to make sure it looks the way you want it, I might add a bit more over here too. Um, maybe I'll add a bit more purple on that one side. So it looks like it's transitioning a bit more. And then I'm gonna take my turquoise, start mixing a little bit of it with green. And I think I'm gonna do a couple more roses on this side. So it's more of a turquoise color. And I'm just trying to balance out the shapes of these flowers, okay? So I have some roses over here, which are a bit bigger and peonies. I have those smaller stockier flowers here, smaller stockier flowers over here. And then maybe I'll do a little one. that grab a bit more turquoise tap that center you can really get some other blues in there too I might use a little bit of indigo which is a bit darker for a bit of contrast like that maybe do a couple buds grab a bit of cobalt blue you do some like forget-me-nots
turn this around. Just really, really loose, like these barely look like petals, but once you kind of put the little stems with it, I'm gonna grab my green again. I'm just gonna connect some of those. Might even grab a little bit of yellow for some of the centers. Like that. And then the last color would be green into yellow. So let's grab, I'm just gonna mix all this green that I have here in the blue. Add a bit more sap green. I'm gonna do some more greenery over here. So we can start doing a bit bigger leaves because this is the green area. Okay, I just went in initially with a light color and then just adding some dark greenery. Um, you can add different green if you like. I might add a bit of this perline green, which is a bit deeper. Do some smaller, again, contrasting with size, color, shape, just change it up. And then I might add a bit of lemon yellow to my green to really tie in the green with the yellow. Okay, so we're transitioning again. So let's do maybe some smaller greenery. Just using the tip of my brush. that. I'm going to grab a bit more of that dark green again. Just fill in some darker green leaves and then to tie it in with the yellow, I'm just going to do a couple of small yellow buds on that greenery like so. There you go. So looking at this, I think I'm going to add a bit more purple to the side just to even it out. So maybe just a, a few more like little buds blooming. Just to balance out the shapes a bit more. Bit of different purple in there, maybe. Change it up, do however you like. Actually looking at it a bit more, I think I wanna even out the yellows up here. So I'm just gonna add a bit more. Maybe like a forsythia branch. So I'm just gonna get some brown even. And just connect those yellow buds to the brown branches of a forsythia. And there you go. Okay, so then you're gonna wait for the watercolor to dry and we can take off the masking fluid. Okay, so now that your watercolor is all dry, you can start taking up the masking fluid. So I like to use an eraser or your fingertip, works too. Actually, we'll just use our fingertip and you're just gonna peel it back a bit and you can pull it up and you're just gonna slowly pull around it gently so it doesn't rip your paper. And it's actually pulling up some of that <laughs> pencil mark anyway. There you go, you have a nice crisp line and you can just start erasing any 
pencil lines that did not get pulled up. And there you go. There's your beautiful rainbow heart bouquet. Thank you all so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it. And I hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram and Facebook for even more. Have a great day, guys. Bye.